How's it going, guys? I'm Dan. I'm Dan. And we're here at CES 2016 Day Zero. That's right. The show really starts Wednesday, but all these companies like to hold press conferences, sort of get ahead of the week and announce some of their bigger products. Make themselves look cool. Yeah. So of those companies and announcements, we've seen four big trends. It's uh, basically autos, wearables, laptops, and then your basic accessories. Mm -hmm. So you want to kick things off with autos? Let's take a look. Ford, one of the world's largest automakers, has three big announcements. The first is that it now has the biggest autonomous vehicle fleet of any automaker in the world. It also has improved LiDAR with its autonomous vehicles, which means they can see better when they're driving around. There's also integration with the Phantom Drone Maker. Uh, basically, the drones are going to sit in the back of pickup trucks, and you're going to be able to control them from inside the truck. So basically, you're going to have a touch screen, fly it around, and land it into the bed of the pickup. And this is going to be good for uh, things like uh, relief crises, construction sites, anywhere where people really can't reach. In addition to that, they announced integration with Amazon's Echo uh, and its Alexa voice integration system, uh, you know, that little cylinder thing. So basically what you're going to be able to do is activate the Alexa app in your truck or car. Uh, then you can do things like control the lights in your house, the garage door opener. Uh, you can even set the air uh, or the heat, so you can just pop that, warm up your house, and you're good. And a similar partnership, Volvo has come together with Microsoft to put uh, vehicle controls into its Band 2 uh, smart wearable band. So you can, again, uh, unlock the car, turn the heat on, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But my favorite auto announcement of the pre-CES week Best. is Harman is bringing Microsoft Office to your console. So you can drive around and check out those spreadsheets and docs. Yeah. It's a great idea. It's, it's fantastic to be able to do a PowerPoint behind the wheel. Probably not. No. Next up, computers, uh, particularly laptops, which has become sort of a copycat market. Uh, for instance, LG's latest laptop is gold, uh, kind of like the new MacBook. Mm -hmm. difference here is that it's 15 inches, not 12, and it runs Windows 10. Uh, HP, also after the MacBook, we would have to guess, uh, only it's thinner, which is kind of the that's where the market's headed. Yep. And it's besting the new MacBook in that area. Samsung's also copying the MacBook with its new Book 9 series laptops. They're 13.3 inch and 15 inch. The 13.3 inch though is the lightest 13 inch laptop on the planet. Now, I held this thing and I've held dinner plates that are heavier than this. So it's impressive. Then they're also copying Microsoft Surface with their Tab Pro S tablet, which is basically a Windows 10 tablet with an included keyboard, which is nice for once. Hmm. And then Lenovo's copying itself still, but it's still making ThinkPads. Yeah. <laughs> And next we have wearables, specifically HTC and Under Armour, two companies you didn't think would get together. They have a new thing called the Under Armour Health Box. Basically, it's an all-in-one fitness uh, solution. You have a connected scale, uh, a fitness tracker, and then you have a heart rate tracker. All of it feeds into Under Armour's UA record app and tells you either that you're a really good athlete or you're a lazy piece of garbage and you should feel bad about yourself. Just in time for the new year. Just in time for the new year. Fitbit is another uh, big name in wearable. Mm -hmm. They uh, unveiled their new Fitbit Blaze smartwatch Ooh, to uh, critical acclaim or not. Uh, it's a hexagonal sort of Apple Watch looking type smartwatch that um, made investors panic a little bit today. Skosh. On the other hand, Misfit, uh, another wearable company, came out with the Ray, which is being called one of the most beautiful wearables launched. So we're getting the dichotomy over here. Yeah, a little bit. So on the accessories front, uh, the world still revolves around Apple, it mm -hmm. seems, right? So the new Apple Watch is getting its own battery bank, a portable charger, kind of like a Mophie for your phone. With this, you attach your Apple Watch to it halfway through the day when you're running out of juice, and it charges it right back up. Halfway so, through the day. <laughs> yeah, so when your expensive timepiece is uh, about to die, it gives it new life. Um, also on the Apple front, you have uh, this uh, company, Griffin, makes a MagSafe adapter for your new MacBook with the USB-C uh, port. And it makes it now so if your cat hits it or something, the whole computer won't fall off the table. And in the world of VR, we have what's called the 3D rudder. And basically, it's kind of like a plate that you put your feet on, and you lean forward, and it'll move you forward in the virtual world. Lean back, go backwards, side to side, things like that. I tried it for a little bit. It's really cool, but it's disorienting as hell. <laughs> so those are the four biggest themes coming out of our pre-CES coverage. That's right. Stay tuned for more of our coverage of the big show this week. I'm Dan. And I'm Dan. And for more tech tips and tricks, check out yahootech.com.